Welcome to rawfooddietinspiration.com. I'm Darlene Navarre. Thank you for joining me today. This newsletter is dedicated to one of my subscribers. And she posted a question on one of the videos about getting enough calories. Now, there's always this perception for some reason around fresh fruits and vegetables. How do you get enough calories? Well, the thing is, if you ate salads all day, you probably wouldn't get 2,000 to 3,000 calories per day. So the way that you do that is with fresh fruits and vegetables. Mango, I have this beautiful, delicious, ripe, ready to eat mango here. A mango has 100 and approximately 100 to 120 calories per mango. So if I just ate a mango, that would be 100 calories. But what if I ate quite a few mangoes and I made a bowl full of mangoes, maybe five of them? That would be 500 calories. And let's say the next meal, I'm going to eat a smoothie. So I throw some greens in, which have very minimal calories. And then I throw like five bananas in, maybe a cup of blueberries. That smoothie would have around about 575 calories or so. That's the how you get enough, is by eating lots of delicious fruit. It's important to get fruit into your diet. And that is how, that's why a lot of times when we're eating just salads or just fats and salads, we're getting those sweet cravings. Because our palate naturally craves sugar. However, it's the good kind of sugar. But aside from that, just thinking about how can you get enough into your diet, eating fresh fruits and vegetables, eat plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables, even if you're just eating some other good foods as well. Just add in some smoothies, add in some chopped up fruit. Those are the best ways and it will help you from having the cravings help you stay satiated if you're eating enough fruit. Right now it's watermelon season and I'm eating a good portion of my diet is watermelon. And watermelon for one cup of watermelon has about 100 calories. So you could eat quite a bit and if you've ever had chopped up watermelon in a bowl, one cup isn't very much. But you can eat maybe five cups of that or four cups of that. Before I go for my run in the morning, I eat four cups of watermelon. And by the time that I get done with my warm up, I'm good to go because watermelon digests, if it's eaten by itself, a little claws there, in about 30 minutes, as long as you're on eating it on an empty stomach. So just think of the abundance within fruits and vegetables instead of the lack of what it's not providing for you. And eat plenty of fruits because fruit is one of the most important foods you're going to give your body, especially sweet fruits. And if you don't want to eat bananas because somebody told you not to eat bananas, you can have a mango. You can eat plenty of other fruits, watermelons or oranges. You have to eat a lot more oranges Oranges have about 60 calories per orange, per good size of orange. So that's how you get enough. And remember, it's not just that. It's also physically taking care of your body. The more you're exercising and getting all that fresh fruit calories will help burn off that sugar. And also, the most important thing is what you think. So if you think that fruits and vegetables have the abundance that you're looking for in your body, you will thrive on them. And if you think, mm, I hate eating fruits and vegetables, you will not. It's all your mentality and how you're looking at something. That is the first key when changing your diet or anything. Because it's not just about food. In fact, it's 100% about your mind. It's 100% about your thoughts. Eating fruits is not only good for you, it can be fun. You can make a mango ice cream. You can come up with some creative ideas to use for your mangoes. 
you can, um, it is creative because you can create things. So it's fun, it's creative, and it's even sexy because it can, with your mentality, create a beautiful, sexy body. Well, until next time, get your day off to a fresh start. Eat, speak, and think fresh thoughts. Bye.